Jacob ran away from his brother and family to Mesopotamia, the land of his grandfather Abraham. He lived there for twenty years, working for his uncle Laban. He worked really hard and always trusted in God. There, Jacob had two wives, Leah and Rachel, as well as twelve sons and many animals. He became very rich, even wealthier than Laban. Jacob started to fear his uncle because he saw that Laban was not pleased with everything that Jacob acquired. Then, one day, God spoke to Jacob and said, Jacob, you have to return home to your father's house, take your wives, children, and animals, and go back to where you came from. Do not be afraid, for I will be with you. Yes, Lord, I will take my family and all that I have and go back home to my father and mother. Jacob gathered his wives, kids, servants, and animals and quietly went away from Laban's house. Jacob and his household traveled a very long time. They were coming closer to his homeland when one of his servants ran to him and said, Master Jacob, it seems your brother Esau is coming towards us, and he has an army of 400 men with him. What should we do? Oh no. What am I going to do? Esau is still mad at me. Does he still want to hurt me? What will happen to my family and everything I have? I don't know what I'm going to do. Jacob became extremely scared of what will happen when Esau reaches him. Jacob decided to divide all that he had into two groups. One group with the animals and servants he placed in front of the river Jabbok, and his wives and kids he placed on the other side of the river to keep them safe. Then he decided to make presents to give to Esau. He called his servants and said, My servants, listen carefully. Here are all the presents I made for my brother Esau. I will give them to you, and when Esau comes to you, tell him that it is all a gift to him from his servant Jacob. Tell him that I am waiting for him behind you. Maybe this will make Esau forgive me. Yes, my lord, we will do all that you say. Once everything was ready, Jacob walked away and began to pray and ask God for help. He decided that the best thing he can do is ask God to protect him from Esau. Dear God in heaven, you told me to leave Mesopotamia and go back to my father's land. You promised to be with me all the way, but now you see that my brother is coming after me. Dear God, please help me, protect me from Esau in his anger. May he not hurt my family. I trust only in you and your majesty. Amen. It was nighttime when Jacob prayed, waiting for his brother. Then, suddenly, he realized there was someone else by him, and Jacob started wrestling with this person. It started to get light again, yet they were still wrestling. So the man touched Jacob's side to make Jacob stumble. The man said, let go of me. It is almost day again. I need to go. No, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I really need you to bless me or else I won't let you go. What is your name? My name is Jacob. You will no longer be called Jacob. I give you a new name, Israel. You shall be called Israel because you wrestled with God for your blessing. 
Jacob went to wait for his brother knowing that God had blessed him because he realized that the man he wrestled was from God. When Jacob saw Esau coming, he started bowing to the ground in front of his brother. Esau saw him and ran to Jacob to give him a big hug and even started crying from happiness. Dear brother Jacob, I am so glad to see you. How I have missed you. I love you so much. Really? Esau, you are no longer mad at me? No, Jacob, of course not. God helped me to forgive you. Tell me, is this your big family? Yes, brother. Meet my wives, sons, and daughters. Wow, Jacob. God has really blessed you in Mesopotamia. But Jacob, I do not need your presence. It is enough that you are coming home. Well, still take my presence and know that I am also very excited to go home to my father. So Jacob and Esau finally found peace with one another. <laughs>